Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ravan Solanki and today we are going to walk through deploying a Next.js application by using Docker. So by the end of this tutorial, you will be having and running a Next.js application on your AWS EC2 instance that can be accessed from anywhere all over the body. So before starting, let's see what is Next.js. Next.js is an open source web development framework created by the private company that is Versal, which provides React based applications with server side rendering and static rendering. So let's just start with setting up a Next.js project. Open a terminal first and uh, let's copy this command. Create a Next application. Okay. And will ask you for your project name test project by default will do style script yes link tail in css and ssh directory yes app router yes repo part yes and localize no and that's all this will create an xjs application for you we'll just wait for a couple of minutes to get this complete we have a xjs project ready uh, we'll just test it out with npm run Dev. We'll just have to go inside the test project directory and then npm run dev. Yeah, our project has been started. Let's go to localhost 2000 and we can access the website over here. Alright, so we have our Next.js application ready. Currently, this is on localhost and I want to deploy it accessible by anyone on through the internet. So before that, we'll just modify a few things on the landing page and then we can deploy it. So we'll just go inside the next test project and src page.t6. So this is what we see over here. So I'll just remove all of this content. Hi everyone, this is Ravan here, alright. Hi everyone, this is Ravan here. Looks good for now, right? Now we have our modified Next.js application and let's containerize it with a Docker. So first of all, we'll create a Docker file in the root directory that is inside test project and Docker file. If you don't understand this, it's fine. We will be discussing it in very much detail in the upcoming videos. I already have a Docker file ready with me. So just copy paste this over here. It, it's very simple. We are just installing Node.js 20 and we are copying the package JSON file from here and we are installing all the modules and npm run build, exposing port 3000, and then starting the application. So, once this is done, we'll just close this for now. This Docker file sets up all. Uh, and now, we'll test this Docker file and try to run it locally. So before that, we'll just need to verify that our Docker desktop is running. We already have it running over here. If not, you can install your Docker desktop. You can just run it from your local PC. Alright, we already have we already have it running onto our PC. So we'll just build the Docker image with the command sudo docker build. I'll put a tag as test hyphen one and and enter the password and it will take a couple of minutes to install all the modules or the libraries whatever we have inside our package json we have some error over here that is image is defined but never used okay so over here we forgot to remove this it's because of linting yeah so we'll try it again sudo docker build mt test one dot so our build process is completed and we'll just verify it by running this docker container so for running the docker container we have a command sudo docker run hyphen p for both that is 3000 colon 3000 and tag it in means test hyphen one yeah, our application has been started. We can just verify it by going to localhost 3000. And if you shut it down, then you can just refresh this page, and yeah, you can see that this is not working. If you want to keep it running in background, so you just have to put hyphen D 
aim for running it in the background over here that is sudo docker run hyphen d hyphen p that's it so this we can just verify it by sudo docker ps this shows all the running containers we already have this one test one image that was created six seconds ago so yeah we can just refresh this and yeah we can see the space type over here that was about creating a next.js application and creating a docker file so now we'll containerize the next.js application once the containerization is completed let's push this code to github and let's open github over here we'll search for github we'll create a new repo i'll select as 11.73 and repository name repository name is yt test1 let's keep it public for now and create repository so first command so we'll just follow the step-by-step -step instructions to publish the code onto the github so first of all let's copy with git init we'll initialize the repo then we'll add all the files git add space dot for adding all the files from here then we'll commit it as initial commit you can put whatever message you want and after that we'll create a branch with branch hyphen name and then we'll add the origin mm, yes and then we'll just push the code to the main branch git push hyphen u origin all right so once you ref do this you will be having the next.js application code published onto your github now our code is on github and it's ready to be deployed on the aws we'll log into aws console and we'll go to ec2 we'll search for ec2 we already discussed this in our previous video we'll click on launch instance and test one ubuntu t2 micro micro is fine for now we'll select keeper i already have a keeper or you can also create a new keeper you i already have a security group but i'll prefer to create a new security group for this one put it as 30 gb storage and launch instance so now we'll connect with this just a second it's still in the binding mode all right this has been started we'll just connect it with the c2 instance and c2 instance connect connect all right so our c2 instance is ready and now we'll install docker and docker onto our ubuntu system so the type of sudo snap install docker all right so it's downloading docker it will take a couple of minutes to download and install onto your ubuntu so meanwhile this is getting installed you can just go through my github profile and you can search for the boiler updates from here we all, I have already created a docker caddy boil update you can just refer to this I have made all the instructions clear just see how to write a docker file create a docker compose set up caddy server and connect it with your domain so don't worry about it I'll be covering it up in the next video so let's check if it's installed now. we'll just wait for a couple of minutes more so we have our docker installed onto our server so first of all we'll just clone this repo from here not this one we'll just go back and this one we'll just copy this and we'll hit clone and clone this repo we'll go inside this we'll list the directory and go inside cd yt test one once the once the GitHub repo is cloned, you can go inside the directory and let's list the files, whatever you have. We have a Docker file here as well. You can just start Docker file. You can just start or run. The we'll just need to build and run this Docker file to make this website live. So for that, I sudo docker build hyphen tl as test one over here and drop this will be the image similar to the process what we did it on the local host 
similarly we'll build an image over here and then run it we'll just wait for a couple of minutes more yes so we have docker container ready we can just display it with the help of sudo docker with this command So we have this test one image with the latest type ready, which was created three months ago. The size of 885 MB. So we'll just run this Docker container with this command. So do Docker run hyphen d hyphen v for port 3000 3000 and uh, name of the container that is test hyphen one all right so we have a container running onto our server we can test it with this command sudo docker ps to list all the running containers so we have this test one image running which was up eight seconds ago all right so it's been redirected onto the port 3000 so if you want to access your uh, website so you just need to copy this public address and uh, paste it over here with http colon slash slash and with the port that is 3000 this site won't be accessible currently because we will just need to give the port access of 3000 to this instance so we'll just go to security we'll select this instance say like go to security and go to security groups and we just need to set inbound rules over here edit inbound rules and add rule custom tcp at 3000 give access to 3000 port and select anywhere or whatever particular blocks or ip you want to give we'll give it anywhere for now and then save rules once this is done you can just refresh this page We'll just copy this from here and paste it again and with 3000. Alright, so we have our application deployed and this site can be accessed from anywhere in this world. Continue to the site and yes. So that's how we deploy any Nexus application onto the server. So in the next video, we'll set up a caddy server with Docker Compose and connect it to Domain for a fully functional production setup so for example here we will be having test.example.com or anything with an HTTPS so everything we will be setting it up in next video so if you found this tutorial helpful give it a like subscribe for more dev tutorials and let me know in the comments if you have any questions so see you in the next video until then take thank you